there, Donna Woods with Photonic Health, and this version of Health Made Simple, our special guest today is Dr. Robin Lord, and she is the co-founder of the Institute of Applied Equine Podiatry. And so in more simplistic terms, their company focuses on the equine foot and treating it holistically, and not just the foot, but everything about the horse, mm -hmm. correct? Correct. Awesome. Totally. And so uh, when Dr. Lord did her dissertation on her doctorate, um, she picked a, quite a challenging topic, um, but one in the horse industry. So if you are in the horse industry, which I'm assuming you are because you're watching this, um, you know that if you ask your horse friends one question on how to take care of something, say 10 people, you'll get 10 different answers. And if you ask them where their information derived from, you'll probably get a lot of, well, that's the way my grandfather did it, or that's the way I learned it, or that's the way I've always done it. And so your dissertation really wanted to dig in and uncover why is that so prevalent in I mean, it, it's human nature, right? But why is it so prevalent in the equine industry? Correct. So you want to tell us a little bit more about what you, like a little bit overview of what it is and what you found? Sure. sure. So so my dissertation, the basic function of it was to study longstanding belief systems in the equine industry because we had this unique situation in the equine industry that hadn't changed for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. We're still doing it the same way, you know, little bits and pieces change, but the, the majority of the framework were longstanding belief systems on what we believed, how the horse functioned. Right. and how they behave. Um, so we have this culture, we have this industry, and we're talking, you know, wars, we're talking revolutions, we're talking innovation, and it still has not changed. So I was able to use the equine industry as a business model because of that lack of change. And then in the 80s, that revolutionary change of natural horsemanship, as we all know, Pirelli took that by storm, probably started a little earlier, but they were the mainstream iconic company that kind of started that. And then the barefoot movement. So those were the simultaneous sh paradigm shifts. So I'm studying paradigm shifts to industry. So I was able to look at businesses and you can apply this to yourself. You can apply this to your business. So if you want to make a change in the business world, and I've been in business all my life. So um, I was looking at these changes and what made them unique. Why were people not changing the resistors? And then who were the adopters and what characteristics did they have? Because if right. you understood those, you could apply that to your business, make changes quicker, faster, less expensive, and they stuck. Most companies you read, you know, Harvard Business Review, we, you know, I've done my master's in business and you, you study case after case and it's always about that change, right. that change to the business and why it didn't stick, what was the failure point, and we would learn from it and never do it again. But this, I kind of wanted to dig deeper and the University of South Florida accepted this model for my dissertation, which was so unique to them because I knew by being in the industry, by going to expos and meeting people like yourself um, who took part in my dissertation, yep. people who started businesses and are on that forefront of the paradigm shift. So we've got the, we had four groups of horsemanship, natural and traditional, and then the barefoot movement or trimmers, natural and traditional. So I studied those groups by doing uh, what's called qualitative. So it's interviews. Mm -hmm. So I did hours and hours of interviews and then I coded them and recoded them and classified them and created this um, kind of uh, matrix that moved you into understanding characteristics for people. So like natural horsemanship, when they study horses and behavior, I was studying people and their behavior. So that's kind of um, the, you know, the gist of it in, right. in a nutshell. Was there any one big 
like wow thing that came out of that all of that work that you maybe didn't expect yes yes two two things came out of it one because i was doing qualitative research and for you know not to go too deep into it but it was called um, the grounded theory so i had to come up with an actual model to uh, give to the business industry but i had to flip it um, from like barn to boardroom in a sense what one of my articles was called barn to boardroom that. so i had to create this movement from what did i learn and how could i change that into just how people resisted and why they resisted so i created a model called the hybrid adaptation model so that created a sense that you've got adopters they resist or they adopt and i you know went through all this different coding and recoding and axial coding, which is a higher level of coding. So it just went on for, you know, months. And then it created a hybrid model where there's a, there's a point where they, they start to change. Right. And you've got the change happening and you acknowledge that, but the ability to go back to what you've done in previously or change completely is such a, is so delicate that it was that area that I, decide to concentrate, which was concentrate most on the resistors. Right. And that's kind of after I coded everybody, it created kind of a encapsulated hybrid model where I'd be able to um, understand more fully where they were coming from. So that was the one part, which was, you know, I didn't expect to see that. I thought I'd just say, these people do this and these people do that. And if you want this, do that. Right. You know? Right. So um, the one thing that I came out with was the traditional farriers because I am a student. I went to all their conferences. I spoke to Hall of Fame farriers. I talked to the most gracious people. Some I knew, some I didn't, and people in the industry. But they, the farriers in the industry, the old timers, the people who have been doing this most of their lives, 50s, 60s, 70s, they have such admiration for the horse that I didn't see in the younger people that they would get up every day and just say, I get to get up every day and help horses. And it was, it was kind of, it was, it struck me. It was wow. like awestruck. I, I, I was like, wow. It, I, I didn't really realize that sense of family is what kept them from adopting because they were, and, and their communication between each other and to teach each other is so flawless but the natural side of things, they kind of learn it and go off on their own and then teach people, but they, the communication backwards was a little blocked. Interesting. So it's a, it, it was a sense that the people who are adopting that have c companies that are facing paradigm shifts or innovative technology for holistic, you know, hoof care horses, whatever, like yourself. Right. It's Correct. a new way of looking at, you know, problems. Is, is to kind of keep the sense of, of learning, which is what you're doing right now, is you're creating a communication between people learning, but then you have to extend that to the people who are your peers or above. Right. So it, it is all about communication. So that, that was pretty eye-opening. So I, you know, when, when we use this in our business, we look at it as far as our clients want to educate, but they're talking to vets that maybe aren't are more traditional, and they want to open their minds. So it's all about creating. There, there's different points to my to my model that you would have to encapsulate to roll out. So it really helps our business, and we teach that at our five day courses to kind of help people to communicate better because there's better ways of doing things. Um, I mean, Absolutely, I, I, we swear by the by your red light system. Right. I, I don't think I've called a vet for a colic in since I met you back in right. the day. Right, <laughs> I know when you came out for a fa for a horse that was you know in distress. I right. I have not looked back, and right. and it's like clockwork. I know what to right. do. I get the light. A few minutes later, we're good, and we move right. on. Yeah, yeah. You know when you talk about like Pirelli and yourselves, you know, like in two thousand and nine, like when Brian and I started our business, people were like, "You're what? You're quitting your corporate job so you, you can start this company, and you're serious like that little red light." And now red light therapy is like blown up and blown exploded, up. Mm -hmm. and it's so interesting because, um, and even for you guys, and even for Pirelli, like I think w we were all sort of like. You know, of course, Pirelli was really at the 
for I mean way ahead yes a way ahead of the whole thing and so it's been interesting to watch the industry and watch how much resistance that they're really still is mm -hmm. i mean mm -hmm. i you know we go we go out and work on clients and friends and do things with our horses mm -hmm. and you know we just sort of walk away and go gosh your work isn't done yet right um right you know and i don't know that you know i and thank goodness for the digital age because thank we goodness. can reach a lot more people mm -hmm. across the world um, to help spread the message mm -hmm. um, and you know what you and Casey do is so incredibly important um, especially for the equine foot and for the for the horse in general because it's just absolutely critical I know it's changed my horse's lives um, so what is like if somebody's interested in learning more just on the basic like basic level maybe they don't want to take a course yet but they still they sort of want to internet stalk you <laughs> <laughs> learn like do you have any i do you guys do you guys have a blog yes yes we have a whole library of articles on you know our website apply to um facey casey has a facebook page he also has uh you know apply to grind podiatry advice page there's a lot of pages within his um his page for right. the institute and um we're coming up with a lot of new uh video programs coming out but for the for the horse owner that I get calls about, that they know they don't know what to do. They can't get a farrier. They can't get anyone to come out. You know, they want somebody. They're in the middle of Wyoming. I don't have anybody in the middle of Wyoming. So right. you know, you either come to me or you learn online. So we have a lot of online, a lot of online um, horse owner courses that are so right. integral in just understanding structure. Like they, they are just thought the hoof was the hoof and until there's a problem I don't need to know about it um, right. so we believe in educating on not just how to trim but why you're trimming what is that foundation um, and then again going back to my my study it's like your light system when you start using it there's so much more you can do with it like right. you don't just need it for that one point I mean I use it we use it on ourselves we you know there's just it's it there's a whole world of holistic treatments within our business on um, applied equine dietary and your, your red light system that, you know, once they learn it, are they going to move on? How do we motivate them to move on? Right. Versus right. I used it and then they stick it in a drawer and then they're like, oh, I've got a problem. You're like, have you tried the red light? How many times I've said that? Right. Have you tried your red light or exactly. have you, you know, what, what's the balance? Have you used your, you know, dynamic balance hoof level, which is a product we sell for balance, checking balance that any horse owner can use. Right. Have you tried that? Oh no, I haven't done that yet. And you're like, you want to pull your hair out because right. it's like, you've got everything right in front of you. We just need you to right. continue you on but it's that resistance it's like right. you have to keep educating them on that and I think some of it is also confidence or lack thereof mm. um, you know we run 30-day challenges um, healthy horse challenge is a 30-day mm. challenge and we've run it several times and we've had people that have gone through our entire education program and they come back to our 30-day challenge and um, they're like oh my god and it and, and it wasn't that they didn't learn the information necessarily before because they did, but it was putting it into practical everyday use. Yeah. And so it's a I lifestyle. think it's, it really it's, is. it's a lifestyle. It really is. Absolutely. It really so is. what about the person that has a horse that is in the middle? I don't want to say a crisis, but they've had longstanding issues and they just need some expert guidance. Um, are they able to contact mm -hmm. you? Do you guys do yes. online or? Yes, yes. Casey How does that will work? do consults. Um, we need to send in either x-rays or pictures taken a certain way so that we can evaluate your structures. The worst thing is to get a picture of you know, somebody kind of standing above the hoof and taking it at such an angle that it distorts it. So once you, you know, can fulfill those parameters, you send in pictures and photos and give us the history. We do do consults online and with webinars, you know, we can literally pull the pictures up and mark off how this foot should be balanced. You know, the, the, the problem we have is when they want us to talk to their farrier to do something different. And it's like talking apples and oranges. It's like, 
he's not going to understand because we bounce differently. So you have to educate yourself on how to communicate with that person. And that's when the horse owner course or our online course or hands on comes in into comes play. In. Yeah, you really right. have to step into it. You have to embrace the whole idea of learning more and, and creating a, you know, correct. And just when you think pathway. you just think you when you've learned it all, there's always more to learn. There is. Right? There's I mean, always that you one two, horse like that brings always, you. like you yeah. guys are. I love you guys because you're like you guys always are like studying, 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 and it, it's so important because really to get the change that we're looking for in the equine industry, right. especially when it comes to foot care, we need people like you guys. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we 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 definitely strive for education, and we're always trying to better ourselves and, and empower people. That's what we're all about. We want to, you know, by the grace of God, we've been given these gifts, and we want to empower people to um, be able to take the, you know, have the ability to heal their horses. The yeah. horse has the innate ability to heal itself. We just have to create that that environment. So um, education is, is the starting point, and it, it's a commitment. It really yeah. is. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, they can take our online come, you know, we have two different levels or, you know, our books, you could buy our books. Or, yeah. Their books know. are absolutely brilliant. They yeah. are like college level mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. textbooks that yeah. are um, just the graphics and the pictures and everything that you guys put that's in all them. Casey. That's I, all I, Casey. I know, but it is brilliant. Yeah. Well, the two of you together are amazing. <laughs> yeah. And, um, and the, the books are just, yeah. And, and we had a book originally called the chosen road, which is our introductory. And we are um, rewriting that because we really have to elevate. There's so much theory that is new that we not new theory, but like we went deeper that we want to impart into right. that book so we've right. been constantly adding to that so that's that's coming out um and we're going to get a you know a rumble channel where we're going to have videos that run through like a 30 day to trim and then right. you know uh kind of awaken people like like in, in my mind as, as a business person i wanted to just okay here's our 10 steps here's everything we do but yet like I'm always about foundation, and, and I say the same things all the time on the phone. You, you, your, your person that's trimming your hoof doesn't understand foundation if they believe this or that. So, like, we're going to spend the whole day on just heel. Like, what is it about the heel? Right. Why do we trim it that way? Why? What is its foundation? What is its structure? Like, we, like, the whole... That, that whole day is going to be devoted just to the heel and then move on to the next one and then get, you know, build on that. But Absolutely. It's, in my mind, I, we were kind of talking about building that product so that people could, you know, really sink their teeth into how important the heel is and how important the bar is and how, like, we just, that's, you know, every, that whole day will be about that. Right. So right. That, that, that's the importance of that 30-day yep. uh, program that's coming out because we, like my research, we have to dissect every piece to go deeper to understand the essence of it. Yep. And then when you put it all back together, it's, it's like this brilliant, pristine, program that that you can really just create your lifestyle on but if you don't right. understand all the nuances of it Correct. it's not complete and then people right. fail and they either stop doing natural horsemanship or they stop doing natural trimming and they just say oh i'm just going to put shoes on i'm right. i'm tired so right. we, we want to set people up to be successful yes and i i feel like we have a really great program that you know we've had for over 20 years and now coming forward so yay awesome and so how can people find you guys um, our website's the best place to find us so it's applied equine podiatry.org um, and then there's a contact page you can email we I get those directly and either Casey or I will answer um, and I usually answer within 24 hours or less and right. Casey has a, a you know Facebook page um, Casey Lapierre or the Institute of Applied Equine Podiatry or awesome. Applied Equine Podiatry Advice. And um, you can find us there and um, soon to come the Rumble Channel, which is a new addition to his YouTube. I mean, you can find him on YouTube awesome. channel. Um, yeah, all those places. Awesome. Well, thank yeah. you so much for joining me today. I sure appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And please sure, be sure to click on the link um, to check the Institute of Applied Equine Podiatry out. Um, they are absolutely revolutionary in horse care and foot care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching this edition of Photonic Health Presents Health Made Simple. 
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications for all new Photonic Health videos.